Adam Silver is now fining teams a hundred thousand dollars if Damn. if they have healthy players not play or not even be there for the game. So, you know, how do you guys feel about that? I feel it makes sense because as a maybe not the amount, but I feel like as a fan, I'd be pissed if my favorite player is sitting out. They're not, or they're not even there. It just doesn't make any sense for them to even be there. Real, real quick, uh, before Jason goes in, I, I just wanted to say this as well. The Spurs were fined, do you remember how much for resting players? Remind me. It's a lot more. I thought it was around this, it's a lot, it's 250,000. Oh, remember when they yeah. rested Duncan and Ginobili yeah. and Parker, like yada yada. So this is a, th this is a lot less than what they fined yeah. the Spurs uh, at that one point. 20 years later, it finally catches up to Greg Popovich. <laughs> Greg Popovich, <laughs> is, Greg Popovich has, has been masterful. And here's what Greg Popovich doesn't care about. He doesn't care about the NBA's bottom line. Yep. And this is what Adam Silver as commissioner has to do. And again, there's obviously a, a bias for me when it comes to running an organization. I mm. love how Adam Silver does it. He's very proactive about social change. Yeah. He's super lax about what his players want. He's not tone deaf towards an entire league. Right. It's also a smaller league about 10 times smaller than that of the NFL, which I always throw under the bus, and the MLB, which isn't perfect, but can also be thrown under the bus in this case. In this case. But he's gotta protect his bottom line. And mm -hmm. what did the NBA and ESPN do? They signed a $10.8 billion TV rights deal, and the NBA gets that money. So ticket prices, in one form or another, still go up because of that. And when players um, get players get rested because you know I go let's say I'm flying out to Cleveland for whatever reason and want to catch a Cavs game and go check out the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, and I go there and my sole purpose is I want to see LeBron play right. on LeBron's home floor in the King's Court and LeBron that day it's the 43rd game of the year, he had a back to back and it's a nationally televised game I, and it's against the Warriors and LeBron's not playing because right. they want to protect it. I get it, you can find the team. I think the fine won't change all that much. Teams that are gonna be competing for championships will pay that money. LeBron would pay out of pocket for it. Right. If he wanted He paid to. for Dante Jones's fines. Yeah, so but I think just it, it's it's Adam Silver finding a way to toe the line between how do I make my TV networks that are paying me happy, how do I make the sports media in some way happy, and how do I keep my players and coaches under something that is can like make them happy. So yeah. sure, I don't. I, is there any gray area at all? Yeah, there's a I'm lot of gray of. area with resting players. Of course there is because it's not necessarily the right thing to do. And Charles Barkley sits there and says, oh, the, uh, we, we would play 82 games straight in a row. We wouldn't rest at all. Okay, well, Ma, LeBron James. I hate is, sabermetrics. So, okay, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take LeBron's three rings or I'll take Greg Popovich's five championships as a product of how he runs his system. If, I agree. Wanna, if his job, if Popovich's job is to win championships, then yeah, a couple hundred thousand dollars out of pocket. The biggest sure. argument that we have is the initial point that D Nice made, which is it's the second time. It's the second time. That uh, if you were a fan going to a game, right. obviously you want to see these stars play. However, if we become less tone deaf about what organizations are doing, then we just come to accept it. Like, shit, it sucks that we took the wife and kids and we got a few popcorns and hung out at United Center or and whatever. You spent Six hundred thirty-three dollars. spent a ton of money. Like, yeah, it sucks, but unfortunately, that's just the law of the land with what business is. You got to what business is now. What business is now? So you got to be able to just sort of see it as it is, and also see that every team, no matter what, is a business. Would you rather not see your favorite player play for that one game you go to, or would you rather see them in a seven-game series in the NBA Finals? I think it's very easy to pick which one. What if they rest in the well, finals? Well, it depends. <laughs> no, it's you honestly, as, <laughs> as a fan, it depends because if I'm saving up to go to this game, think about these kids and everything that you know they're already investing and the ticket prices just being absolutely ridiculous. I would rather see them. Okay, let's pretend it's not game seven. Game seven. Okay. Let's pretend it's game one. Okay, game one. Game one. Game one of the playoffs, just like a playoff game. No, of the finals. Oh, of the finals. Okay, yeah. I would rather see my favorite players sit out for game one while I'm at home watching this game than me pay money and have them sit out. Absolutely. It doesn't make any sense to me why I would want to 
waste my I'm only really seeing like think about it as a fan you're, you're that's the closest you'll get to your favorite players some mm. of these players are like heroes to some people this is the closest we're almost arms distance not literally because I'm probably gonna have nosebleeds but <laughs> it's like we're so yeah, close both. right yeah. so close and <laughs> the fact that we're in the same room sharing the same air it's a big deal and I'm and you're it gonna is. sit out it is uh, I understand your point I'm still sticking by mine that I would rather see my team win, for example, okay, okay, I get a, it. a Bulls Larry O'Brien trophy, right. which has not happened since the Jordan. Era. Okay, but we're six not of saying, them. Huh? I don't feel bad for you. You've had six of them. You've had like every one of them. One. I've had none, none in my lifetime. Zero, zero <laughs> trophies. You did have Alan Houston though. Yeah, he was sick. <laughs> he was awesome. He had for Charles one. Oakley too. <laughs> awesome for one year. I have like five fights won as Knicks fans. Like Oakley won about five of those fights. Oh, so six yeah. Right, 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 right. So you guys have the trophy. You were in the building. Do. Here's the thing. Here's the perspective that we all don't, don't have. No, um, really. you have to think of it from the. Well, that's why they have that commercial. The Andersons got tickets to the game, which is, by the way, like Dwayne Wade says, his favorite commercial is the Andersons oh, got wow. tickets to the game commercial, which must be a plug. How'd they get tickets? How'd they get tickets? But so that from the family perspective, it's mm -hmm. different as a fan like we are, because right. we just go down, and if, if one or us and a friend, you split the ticket, mm -hmm. the two tickets, and you go. There's not really anything stopping you. But right. if you're a family, like I remember my dad took me to Continental Airlines Arena to watch the Nets and Madison Square Garden. Uh, he took me to watch the Bulls play the Nets every year because the tickets were a lot more affordable mm -hmm. when the Bulls came to town. We used to go to Knicks games for other uh, players that came in to see what they were like, Kobe's and AI's and all that stuff. But yeah. the Knicks tickets when they'd play the Bulls were astronomical. When they would play the Nets, the Nets were a bad team. It was before Jay Kidd and Richard yes. Jefferson alive. Yes. Tickets we'd go, and he wanted me to see Michael Jordan Jason play. Williams that was his thing. Jason Williams, well, which one? The one who murdered his cab driver? Yeah, him. He was there. It's one way to There's put the it. other one that is. You really had to ask that question? Yeah, yeah well, there's two. There's two Jason Williams. It's one um, way to put it. White Chocolate never played for the Nets. No, I didn't think so. I thought maybe he did, though. I got lost in it. But so it was before okay. the, the. This is the time of Keith Van Horn and Kerry mm. Kittles. No, very Ladies nice. and gentlemen. Good times. So tickets were cheap. And cheap enough that my dad was able to take me to go see Michael Jordan like once or twice a year against the Nets. Sure. If you're a family and you're a father or mother and you want to take your kids to see LeBron James play and the ticket's affordable and you buy those tickets, I can see why that would be really upsetting. Especially to the kid right. who has no concept of why isn't he playing? Why it's can't we to go tomorrow that. night? Or why can't we go in a month? Mm -hmm. Not everybody is fortunate enough to even afford to go to an sure. NBA game. I'm not saying give everybody handouts, I'm just saying maybe give them enough time. If you're playing the rest of LeBron James, maybe give them at least two or three days of notice if you can, right. so sure. they can sell the I'd ticket and get that. the next yeah, ticket. Same. Let's go see Russell Westbrook then play next week. Type right. of thing. And mind you to your point where they didn't find them as much, like that 250,000 was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But I feel like the 100,000 the 100, still holds these teams accountable to, yeah. okay, well, maybe we can't rest these guys all the time. Because it comes to a point where you're just like, all right, you need to like at least play. Yeah, what like, if they just don't play during they the just, Yeah, they're just collecting all this money. Like, think about all the money these NBA players So is 100,000 not enough? Is that what you guys think? Well, I feel like it's just right. It's a good cushion to where it's not a lot. But, but it'll add up. It'll add up but depending on up. how many players and you sit out. It's noteworthy. It's going to be something, and by the way, that will be argued to the death in like the collective yeah. bargaining agreements in, sure. in five years, which will of course cause mm -hmm. probably a shortened season. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. And then really, really quick, I just want to show you guys the new lottery reform. Uh, it used to be 25% chance for the overall oh. first, for oh, yeah. the first overall pick, uh, 19 points. Oh yeah, there's that other rule. Well, so what they did is they're trying to prevent tanking, and they took the number one and number two. Which what used to be 25% and 19.9% respectively, and then a little bit over 15% for team three, and they dropped it all to 14%, which means you want to tank for last place, have fun, because you're only guaranteed a 14% chance, which is a massive difference yes. right. than 25. Uh, and it's only the first four. First mm -hmm. four picks are selected by the lottery. So uh, real, it'll be real a quick. Super fun battle between the Bulls, possibly <laughs> my underrated New Jersey Nets, uh, Brooklyn Nets. They're going to suck. Whatever. Uh, the Knicks could be fighting for that. Uh, the real quick, would make, it make, would make more sense for them. To Just between that. the three of us, like, are we cool with this new system? Do we want the wheel system? Sam Hinkie didn't die for this. <laughs> <laughs> that man should have a monument well played. outside. <laughs> they should have raised it. Fifty percent chance you get the first overall pick if you tank. But seriously, is there any way to fix tanking? No, hell no. But here's the thing. So if no matter what, if, 
Yeah, Go on, no, sorry, Denise, no, I'm talking I, too much. I'm really trying to think. I don't think there is a way. I'm really trying to think. I don't think so either. So, the, like the wheel system could work, but I'm not a fan of the wheel system. I think. If, what's the wheel system? Is that like the record? Like you select first and then second, and then you're like thirtieth, and da da da. Like yeah. you you rotate between. Oh. Yeah, you rotate between high and then picking low, and it rotates every year. Obviously. This is a fine middle ground. Do you think there's anything? How do you? If you could fix tanking tomorrow. How would you do it? Man. Commissioner Denise. Commissioner Denise, if I could fix it, I would. Ah, oh, man. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have Denise Jones, potentially, back another time. I'm kidding. Potentially back another time, and she's gonna answer that question. How about that? It's a good cliffhanger. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.